This is the Dave Williams Prophecy Briefing, a global update on events pointing to Christ's return and what it means to you. Now, here is award-winning, best-selling author, Dr. Dave Williams. Just recently, the Wall Street Journal, as well as the Daily Mail and other news sources, reported on North Korea's threat of an electromagnetic pulse attack on America. In fact, two recent missile tests in North Korea reached 300 miles into space, the exact distance necessary to detonate a pulse that could devastate an entire country. The prophet Isaiah issued a warning to a godless nation predicting that it would, quote, sit in silence and go in darkness, Isaiah 47, 5. This precisely describes an EMP event, silence and darkness. Now, during the U.S. presidential debates of 2016, one presidential candidate addressed the serious potential of an electromagnetic pulse attack on the United States. An EMP attack would wipe out the nation's electrical grid, all the electronics, all vehicles with electronic systems, and all electric pumps it would create literal silence and darkness. With North Korea in possession of nuclear weapons and given the radical, unstable government of Kim Jong-un, it's all in the realm of possibility. Fox, ABC, CNN have all reported on North Korea's threats of war with the United States. In the book of Revelation, we're told that during the tribulation, the world will not only experience spiritual darkness, but literal darkness. How can darkness come to a nation in a nanosecond? The answer is an EMP attack. It's certainly a possibility. Now imagine that you and your spouse decide to take a vacation far away from home. You have grown children and grandchildren and you're now retired. Suddenly a solar flare or an explosion over your location brings an electromagnetic pulse that completely neutralizes all batteries, all electronic equipment, cells, cell phones, electronic notebooks, everything that has anything to do with electronics and electricity. The electrical grid is fried, inoperative. There's no radio, no television, no phone service, no internet, and no vehicles moving. What are you going to do? How long would it take you to walk back home? Such an event would devastate any country. It would take months or even years to get communications and transportation back up and running. With Iran on the path to nuclear capabilities and a stated agenda to destroy Israel as well as all Western civilization, and with North Korea making these severe threats, the scenario could be getting closer. It's time for pastors to preach the ancient prophecies that point to our day. It's time to call for genuine repentance and wholehearted turning to God now. One day it'll be too late. For now, there's still time. I'm Dave Williams, author of Hope in the Last Days, thanking you for joining me today. Dave Williams is the author of the book, Hope in the Last Days. It's available at Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon.com, and Christian bookstores everywhere. Dr. Williams conducts seminars teaching pastors and leaders how to understand and teach Bible prophecy. For more information, visit us at DaveWilliams.com. We'll look forward to hearing from you, and be sure to join us for the next Dave Williams Prophecy Briefing.